MMA Boxing Talk here, coming at you with another video. I want to talk about um, Andre Ward, Sergey Kovalev, and uh, you know Ward's last opponent, Sullivan Barrera. Now, you know, great, great performance by Andre Ward. He did look good in the fight. Um, you know, considering his uh, inactivity the last number of years, um, and you know the inactivity against solid opponents. You know, um, nothing against Sullivan Barrera. You know, he um, he's not a bum. Um, you know, he he's a solid one seventy five er. We knew that coming in, okay. Um, but what we f found out is that Sullivan Barrera don't got shit on Sergey Kovalev. Okay, now, this is my opinion, and I've heard many people in the YTBC say that, you know, if Kovalev would have fought um, Sullivan Barrera that night, he would have stopped him, and chances are he would have stopped him within the first six rounds, um, and I, I believe that as well. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, Sergey Kovalev beats Andre Ward, you know, late 2016, that doesn't mean that, um, but it also means that Andre Ward might not be exactly ready to face Kovalev just quite yet. Um, I mean, I'm sure it would still be a, a very close and, and compelling fight if they did fight next, Ward and Kovalev. But, you know, Ward, if to get another, you know, a, this time a solid top 10, a, an actual ranked top 10. A lot of people saying Fonfara, um, I like that fight. That would be a good fight to get. Um, ready for Kovalev, you know, Fonfara is a tough fighter, he's a tall fighter, um, he's had a lot of success against good fighters in the past, and anyway, um, you know, I'd also like to see Ward maybe fight Arter Beaterbeev, but, you know, he's coming off of an injury, hasn't had a fight in a while, so that, you know, is, was just wishful thinking, I guess, but, uh, Fonfara would be perfect, and then fight Kovalev, now, um, you know, I, I definitely am favoring favoring Kovalev in the Ward fight. I know, you know, a lot of people are favoring Ward. You got a lot of people favoring Kovalev. Um, personally, you know, if you were favoring Andre Ward before the Sullivan Barrera fight, and you still are now, that's fine. It's your opinion, you know. Um, Andre Ward is a great fighter, and he does have a chance to beat Kovalev. A good chance, some people believe, right? Um, but... The people that, you know, were on the fence about Andre Ward before the Barrera fight, you know, on the fence is in if he'll beat Kovalev or not. Um, and, you know, now if they're certain that he will he can do it after the Barrera fight, I mean, that, to me, that's, um, you know, his fight against Sullivan Barrera wasn't enough to warrant, you know, all of a sudden, oh, after that fight, after his, you know, solid, solid performance against Sullivan Barrera, He's ready to beat Kovalev. I mean, from judging from that fight, um, it's definitely gonna be a close fight. But I mean, like I said, if if you know if you thought that Ward was gonna beat Kovalev before the Sullivan Barrera fight, and you still do now, but if you're on the fence and and, and that fight, you know, tipped you over to taking Ward over Kovalev. I mean, um, like I said in the earlier in the video, Sullivan Barrera don't got shit on Sergey Kovalev, right? Um, Sergey Kovalev is fast, okay, he's a fast 175-er, he's a lot faster than Sullivan Barrera, he's a lot more accurate, um, better footwork, you know, and he cuts the ring off a whole lot better, um, and he punches harder, and, you know, he's a whole different beast, um, than Sullivan Barrera, and nothing against Sullivan Barrera, like I said, I'm not, I'm not sitting here saying, oh, you know, Sullivan Barrera's a bum, Andre Ward beat a bum, he didn't, Sullivan Barrera's a solid fighter, but, like I've said, he just doesn't, he's just not on Kovalev's level. You know, he doesn't have shit on Kovalev. So, you know, I, I still truly believe that uh, Sergey Kovalev has what it takes to beat Andre Ward. Now, even Kovalev believes that, you know, Andre Ward, it's going to be a tough test, you know. I hope I win, he said, or, or maybe I'll win, or whatever he said. I mean, Kovalev, it just shows, you know, he has respect for Andre Ward. Um, and, you know, so do I. I. I do like Andre Ward, the fighter. Um, am I a fan of all his diva demands? And, you know, his, his, uh, you know, the fact that he's so hard to work with and to get a fight signed and made, 
with Andre Ward, it's a very difficult thing. Um, you know, I don't like that stuff. I don't like his diva demands. And but, you know, if um, if he, you know, he if he fights Von Farah next and then fights Kovalev, I mean, I have I have that's what I want to see from Andre Ward. That's what I want him to do. And if he does that, I'll be happy. And I'll be a, a bigger fan of Andre Ward if he does that, right? Um, and I, I, I think he is going to fight Kovalev. I mean, we don't know for sure, right? But I, I believe that he will. Um, I hope. I, I shouldn't say, you know, I believe. I mean, uh, more than likely, I think he'll fight him. Or he's going to have to, you know, pull an injury, uh, fake an injury, or, or, or he does actually get hurt. Or, you know, he just flat out. I don't know, retires, <laughs> so, but I think he's going to fight him, you know, he's still young, he did look good, he's going to, you know, he's only going to get better, um, because of that inactivity, you know, but a Fonfara fight would be perfect next, it really would, but uh, let me know what you guys think, I mean, this is just my opinion, um, I cannot wait for this fight to actually happen whenever it does happen, uh, a lot of people, you know, they're starting to talk now, and, and it makes sense. The winner of this fight is pound for pound number one. It's for the pound for pound number one bragging rights. I mean, that is huge. I mean, uh, Canelo, Triple G, Triple G Canelo, that's a huge fight. But that ain't Kovalev Ward. You know, not when you're talking about the pound for pound number one bragging rights up for grabs. I mean, that's the biggest sport. Or sorry, that's the biggest fight to make in the sport of boxing. Um, Triple G Canelo, that's, you know, probably the most financial uh, fight to make in boxing, if you take away Pacquiao or Mayweather, you know, if, if, if they stay retired, um, that's the big, big money fight, Triple G, Canelo, but, I mean, Kovalev Ward, that's what the true hardcore boxing fans, that's the fight we want to see the most, you know, there's other ones, Terrence Crawford, Victor Postal, I mean, that's another one I've been, you know, campaigning for on Twitter a little bit, um, but yeah, that's my take on Kovalev Ward, um, you know, Andre Ward, if he can get past Von Farah or someone like, someone solid like that, um, you know, then I need to see it to believe it for me. That's just me, um, because of Ward's inactivity. I know he can do it, but let's, let's not forget here. Um, he's had one fight at 175 in the pros, right? I mean, he fought Paul Smith, but Paul Smith came in out of shape, um, at 172, you know, they weighed in. So it wasn't an actual 175 bout, but Andre Ward, you know, if he can get past the Farah, then, you know, then I think he's, then he's put himself in a position where, you know, he's gained that experience at the 175 pound division. You got to remember, like, when he fought in the amateurs in 2004, won gold, that was at 175, but that's over 10 years ago, right? Um, so... He needs. He's doing the right thing. It's. It's. He's not ducking Kovalev if he fights uh, a Fonfara next. But he needs to fight a solid, solid top ten guy next. Um. But anyway, that's just what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Um. I can't wait. Like I said, the biggest fight in boxing to be made. Pound for pound, number one bragging rights up for grabs. Let me know what you guys think. If you like the video, subscribe. MMA Boxing Talk. Peace.